YouTube, this your boy down low back for another reply. This one is the Waka Flocka 24 hours. And you know, this is typical Waka Flocka. But I will say one thing though, man. He is improving a little bit. He is getting a little better. And he should be. By the amount of time that he's been in the game, he should be showing improvement. So it means that he actually is trying something. And that's a good look. But what I'm really trying to talk about here is the fact that he's predictable. And how this is one of the greatest mistakes that a rapper can do. See, when fans know what to expect from you, then they stop listening to all of your track. Fans begin to be like, uh, well, it's Waka Flocka, but I don't really need to hear this one because I know what it's going to be like. See, and that's the genius move that dudes like Jay-Z was able to do throughout their career. See, Jay-Z constantly evolved as a musician. To the point that for every new track that Jay-Z dropped, you had no idea what direction he was really going to go. So it kept his core fan base interested, but yet he really didn't betray the core fan base much. I mean, songs like H to the Izzo and all of that shit, that went a little bit far. But for the most part, he evolved the music and kept his fan base rolling with him. While dudes like Waka Flocka, man, you become a gimmick if you don't continuously get better and continuously evolve your music. And one thing constant about gimmicks is that they fade away really quickly. Overall, as a track, I really can't fuck with this song, but I'm hoping Waka Flocka continues to progress and starts to update his style of music. But anyway, on to today's article. And today's article is trying to get credit for basic shit. And this is one thing that you have to understand about people. See, people are going to want you to praise them for the most basic shit that they are supposed to fucking do. And then get mad at you when you don't. And it's crazy because many people have used that against people to manipulate people into doing what they want them to do. So a lot of you rappers and such out there need to get off of that shit before someone really use you and fuck you over. Truly, if you do something special, like if you were to build a fan base from scratch and able to live off that shit, that's something that you deserve credit for. Being in the lab all the goddamn time, you don't deserve no fucking credit for that. Anybody could be in the lab at all times. It's what you do in the lab and what you do in the streets to make a name for yourself. That's the most important shit.